How long have you known? I, I mean, could you just tell, or, or did somebody tell you? You're worried about rumors going around. No, I don't. I don't really care. Who knows? That's the whole point of this: is to get it out in the open. Good. I'm glad you told me. So what is it? All over the squad room. As far as I know, it's not common knowledge. Morty and I ran into your dad checking out of the hotel this morning. <laughs> what, he just outed me to you? I think he thought I already knew. <laughs> well, did he treat you to his whole fire and brimstone spiel? He did seem a little <laughs> old-fashioned. Yeah. You know, after I told him and my mom, I thought that I was never going to see them again. And then they showed up at my place this morning uh, before they left town. Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> um, you know, just the fact that they showed up was kind of a miracle. And it wasn't like everything was better, but it just wasn't all bad anymore. You didn't have anything to do with that, did you? You want to share the pain of Todd and Taya's wedding with me? Think about that crowd, Layla. You know we'll be the best ones out there on the dance floor. I don't have anything to wear. That is such bull. You're in here every week with a new bag from Logan's. And look, if you don't have anything new, then you can wear that, that, uh, that gold number you have. The strapless? Yeah, yeah that was a hot one. Hmm. You know, I, I hardly know the people who will be at this thing. I wish I didn't know Todd. Yeah, but you know me. Come on, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Free food, free wine, free dancing. You know what this sounds like, right? A free good time? A date. You think I expect something in exchange for coming here today? That's what I'd do if I was in your dress. I'm not you. And I'm not that little girl anymore and wanted to be just like you. You're always gonna be my little girl. You should be glad she didn't learn from your example. Come here. You tell that son of a bitch to keep his mouth shut. You understand me? You know what? I want to hear another Dad, word his mouth. I do have terms. Just one. Please, please be nice to the father of my daughter. Do you think you can handle that? You guys want to try to punk me? No, honey. The best man is supposed to say a few nice words about the groom and the bride. The bride, too? Mm. Yeah, see, I was trying to go easy on him. <laughs> What am I supposed to say about Taya? What do you like about her? Well, she's cool. Okay. She likes pro wrestling. Oh, and she wears black panties. You might want to leave out that last part. <laughs> I'm gonna mess up. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'll tell you what. Your Uncle Charlie and I are gonna help you write a speech right now. This really isn't a trick. No. Jack, why are you so certain that we're trying to fool you? Because Aunt Dorian said whatever you say is a lie. What have I done? I have no idea what you're talking about. You got that look in your eye. Diabolical one. The last time you got all schemy, a man took a header through a skylight. That wasn't my fault. Oh, I'm not judging you, baby. I'm just saying whatever you're cooking up now could backfire on you like it did then. It won't. Look, I am your campaign manager. No secrets, no blind sides. That's the only way this thing works. So help me, David, if you betray me. I know, I know. You'll get back at me really good. Now fess up. Who did it? Done it? Or is going to do it? Blair. Yeah, she's still hung up on Todd, even though she won't admit it. So that's why she's so determined to put a stop to Todd's wedding to Taya. Boring. Oh, you know, it's basically simple physics. I every action has an equal and opposite reaction. <laughs> Blair wants to stop the wedding, and I'm going to stop Blair. I wasn't expecting you to come. Oh, I uh, came all right. Whew. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, miss the happiest day of Todd's life. 
Well, I'm so pleased you've decided to grace us with your presence. But if you could keep your shenanigans with the pool boy to a minimum, I would appreciate it. The pool boy? My pool boy is a stallion, and I am going to break him. That's why I am definitely going to break him, but we just don't want Todd to catch him first, because he will definitely break him. Todd could care less who you sleep with. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I remember the last time he caught us, he tried to burn my uh, little boy toy to a crisp. Well, if Todd were jealous, then he wouldn't be marrying the love of his life now, would he? Well, I can't wait to see you there, and do bring your little boy toy. I can't wait to make his acquaintance. Not soon enough, bitch. That? Stop laughing. That little grab ass game you were playing with Taya was right at the door. She could have barged right well, in here. Well, she didn't barge right in here. No thanks to you. You, you were practically begging her to come in here for a little threesome, I think. I was not. <laughs> and if I didn't know any better, I would swear you had a little, uh, little thing for Taya. <laughs> You're disgusting. I'm going out. You don't move okay. a muscle. I, I, hey, I won't move a muscle, okay. all right? I'm gonna be right here waiting for your sexy little hot self to fetch me. Don't move! <laughs> this plan of yours sounds awfully similar to something you pulled on Adriana. Look where that got you. Success! Hmm. Adriana is not with that awful Rex Balsam anymore. And when is the last time you spoke to your daughter? I got a lovely... Car de la jour de la mer. Did you just order the fish? David. Dorian Lord here. It's Ross. It's about time. So, how far away are the two of you? Actually, I'm still weighing my options. You haven't whisked Blair away yet? Nope. And I'm starting to think maybe I won't. <sighs> Who said anything about a date? You did. Uh, those are your words, not mine. Go with me, wear the hot dress, wedding, dancing. Mm, that sounds like a date. Look, um, I know better than to use the D word with you. Not that you don't deserve the D word, you totally do. But everybody knows that you've sworn off men. Right. Another entanglement. Yeah, you don't need that. Right now. That's why this wedding is perfect. It would be like, you know, you and Oliver going out. Except you're not gay. Might as well be. You're not available and I'm not interested. Would that work for you? All I said was you're a, you're a good guy and you're a good copfish. That's it? Um, Marty might have said something on your behalf, too. <laughs> She's dead. I don't think she said anything your father didn't already know. Yeah, well, I love my dad, but when I was growing up, Officer Fish was the law. So for whatever you or Marty said, I'm grateful. Well, I know things aren't perfect, but they're OK, right? Yeah. I mean, my parents know who I am now. And there's a glimmer of hope that maybe they'll still be part of my life. So I guess that's all I can ask for. God bless America. <laughs> Okay, now that that's over, I need some help on the case that I'm working on. Oh, uh, the B.E. Stalker case? I I'm totally in. Yeah? Okay. What do you know about Jared Banks? 